Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. Here's another tip to help you with your game. If you like this tip, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips. Also, make sure you tell your friends about my tips, because there's a lot of other people out there that need help too. In this tip, I want to talk about longer clubs, hitting longer clubs. So get, an e uh, get a question on the site the other day. Hey Paul, uh, I'm okay up to about a seven iron. Once I start going above a seven iron, you know, shots aren't so great. Okay, so let me just explain what's happening there. Okay, with your shorter clubs, they have more loft. Okay, when you get more loft, the ball has way more backspin than side spin. Okay, it'd be very difficult for me to slice or even hook a pitching wedge. Okay, it's going like this so much with very little side spin. All right. Now, once you get to in around, you know, here's a seven. See, seven, still got quite a lot of loft on it. And we get to a five, okay? We start reducing the loft. So now it has less back spin, more side spin. This is where it start, the side spin starts showing up. Also, you know, as the clubs get longer, <laughs> we start to swing harder because we're thinking, oh, got to hit it really long. And no, do not do that. All right. So once the clubs start getting longer, you get the side spin. So if anything is, you know, wrong as you come through impact, that side spin is going to be amplified, you know, by the club you're hitting. So you're going to see the shots start going sideways. Okay, so ideally, <laughs> I know everyone wants to hit a long way, okay, I get it. <laughs> but if you hit a driver with this face wide open, that is gonna go shorter than swinging easier with the face, uh, you know, more square, okay? Because you're gonna have side spin. You're gonna have more back spin. So the ball's gonna go up high, come down more vertically. Okay? You don't want it looking like a ski slope. You want it looking like a rainbow. Okay? You can get that just by hitting the ball with the face more square. So if you try to hit real hard, you lock everything up, which opens the face, adds loft, ball starts spinning all over the place. Okay? So what I would recommend, well, you know, if you can't hit more than a seven iron consistently, you need to work on your swing because, you know, you're not seeing the bad shots with the lower clubs because they've got too much backspin on. It doesn't show up as much. You know what I mean? So the telltale sign of where you're kind of where your game's at is, you know, try to hit a three iron, four iron, try to hit a, you know, even driver sometimes, right? Because those clubs are a lot harder to hit. We all want to hit real hard. So we start manipulating the face, locking our wrist, tightening up, because we're trying to hit it too hard. So what I would definitely recommend, obviously, work on your swing positions, get your swing looking really good, do the positions that I teach, you know, grip, setup, you know, we're coiling and hinging, we're uncoiling and rehinging, doing our follow through position, stop worrying about impact. And then once you get beyond that club that you th are starting to lose, I would try to swing a little easier, okay? A little slower would keep you a little bit more relaxed, a little looser in your arms. You know, you got a five iron here, swing a little easier, the face will square, and now you won't be hitting it with the face wide open, putting all that side spin on, okay? I know, it just seems like club's getting longer, you gotta swing harder, yeah, that's what everyone does, and then you hit, start hitting it sideways. You keep hitting it sideways, you have zero confidence, and you will never get this. It just will not happen because you have zero confidence. Swing a little easier, wrist will be a little looser, face will square. If we hit it with the face square, see, even a five iron like this, see this five iron right here? Okay, so if I hit it like that, I'm hitting a five iron. I hit it like that, I'm hitting a seven iron. So where's this gonna go? This is gonna go the distance of a seven iron because I'm changing it into a seven iron. 
So you swing a little easier, you hit it with the face square, now you're actually hitting a five iron. So that's two clubs more with less swing. So guess what? <laughs> now you hit your five iron like a five iron instead of a seven iron. <laughs> so moral of the story, hit your clubs, okay? You'll know, because yeah, so you've probably got some kind of experience. What is that club? Is it a five iron? Is it a six iron? Oh, no, it's my four iron. As soon as I get to my four iron, I start kind of fading it a little bit. Okay, that's the moment right there. That's the point. That club, the next time you go to hit it, you need to swing a little easier, not harder. Okay, from there up, easier. Go at like 60% or something in your mind. Tell yourself, 60%. I'm gonna go 60% with this four iron. Let me just see. See what this Paul guy knows what he's talking about. Yeah, you go that little bit slower, face will square, you'll hit it with the right loft, and then you'll just kill it. Okay, with the club you thought you couldn't hit. Okay, so give that a try next time you're at the range and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Slow down. Easier you go, the looser you get, the more the club releases. I know it doesn't feel that powerful versus hitting as hard as you can with your arms. <laughs> but hitting the ball long and straight <laughs> is a great feeling. Okay, so <laughs> give it a try and then we'll be able to hit all of the clubs in our bag. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.